Hi friends, thank you for joining me today. My name is Andrea and this episode I'd like to talk a little about Itaki Essentials. So I've been cooking with the Itaki Pro and the Shibuki Pot for every week for about four months now and I thought that I would give you a glimpse of the items that I've been using to help make this experience for me easier to come up with recipes and show you some of the ways that you could use your Itaki Pro and Shibuki Pot. So now these are just some of the things that I found were handy for me in my everyday use. If you come across something that you found was handy for you, I'd love to hear about it. Maybe leave me a comment below. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that I found was really essential for the Shibuki pot is this steamer tray here. So for this steamer tray, it's an additional six American dollars, uh, but I find that it really opens up additional possibilities. You'll find so many different ways to use this. You could do things in this like steam your veggies, steam dim sum while you're making stir fries. If you watch my channel, I use it almost every episode to make rice. <laughs> to make rice in the steamer tray, you're going to need an additional um, steam proof bowl or container. I typically use the small food container that comes with the Ataki Pro, but I've also used this Pyrex container. Just basically anything oven proof that fits inside the steamer basket would work. Okay, so the second thing that I think is essential is getting yourself um, a nice set of containers that's leak proof. I really like this Rubbermaid uh, Brilliance set that is available in glass or plastic. I bought the plastic one before I realized there was a glass version. And um, I guess what would be really nice about the glass version is that you could probably use it in the steamer tray for the shibuki. So this just comes in a set of two. Um, it goes on sale on Amazon and Walmart quite frequently as, and I've seen prices as low as $14.99. So watch out for that. This one is a nine piece lunch set. So it says here on the box that it is 100% airtight and leak proof. So what's great about these is that they have this locking mechanism on top, which helps to keep things more secure. And when you open it up, there are separate compartments inside for you to put whatever you want. What I, what I really like about this is that it's got a great vacuum sound. When you close it, listen. <laughs> so these are BPA free, microwave safe, freezer safe, uh, dishwasher safe. So this set comes with two Tupperware containers that stack perfectly together. Uh, broken down, there are six compartments. This first one here, uh, open it up and it has a separate compartment for your sauces and dips and what have you. Um, what's nice about this is that this um, compartment actually comes out because I've seen containers where they have the, um, the, the sauce portion compartment um, just like this, without this. And um, it's hard to get the sauces out without spilling everything around it or into the other compartments. Beside the, the dip compartment or the sauce compartment, whatever you'd like to call this, um, are two separate compartments here for um, whatever you want, like veggies or um, garnishes and, and the bottom here for noodles or salads. The, the one thing is that, the one thing that I would not put in here is raw meat because I, just don't think that it would keep the meat separated from the, the vegetables and um, the noodles. And now this one here, it may be smaller than the previous one, but the individual compartments are larger. So you open this up and it comes with two compartments that you can take out or you could not use these containers and just use this as is for um, a sandwich or a salad or what I would normally do for meat um, 
since I don't think that these compartments are um, leak proof enough on the inside to prevent meat juices from mixing in with anything else that you have in here, I like to carry my meat in a separate little container. Um, and I really like using this one because it has a um, little rubber seal on the inside and locking mechanisms on the outside to make sure that everything stays in place. And the nice thing about that container is that it fits nicely. Ooh, that it fits nicely inside this um, this container here. The only thing is that you're going to have to remove one of the containers to be able to put this little one inside. And after that, it closes up perfectly fine. And no, it doesn't. Fit. It closes up perfectly fine. So I think that this is actually a little more essential for the shibuki since um, the pro comes with its own leak proof lid and with the shibuki cooking is going to be more involved so you'll have to have containers to carry all of your ingredients to cook your food whereas for the tacky pro it's just a push of a button so next on the items that I find essential are utensils because you're gonna need something to cook with. So I have something like this. It comes in a set of four, and each bag is really cute. This one, ooh. <laughs> this one has little trees on it. I like this one because it has little fish, and I think the fish are cute. And then this crazy pattern here, all sorts of shapes and things. And this one, they almost look like fish scales. So each one of these comes with all of these items here. The set is made of bamboo. There's a spoon, a knife, fork, a pair of chopsticks, and a cute little straw. Okay, so like I said before, this set is made of bamboo. And I don't know about you, but I really like using wooden or bamboo cooking utensils because often I find that you um, get food stuck onto the cooking surface and I don't have to worry about scratches when I'm um, scraping off the food bits off my cooking surface. So this set, um, again, comes in a set of four, so you could ideally bring one set to cook with uh, and one set to eat with, or bring two sets if you're eating with a buddy. Okay, now, so if you're looking for something a little more purposeful, might I suggest this silicone set made from Cuisinart? It comes with a little mini spoon, a little mini slotted spatula, and little tongs. They're so cute. <laughs> Now I know I said that I like cooking with wooden or bamboo cooking utensils, but the beauty of cooking with um, silicon is the flexibility in the material, which allows you to get under uh, things easier, which is particularly useful when you're cooking in a small surface area like the shibuki pot. You, re you can really just get in there. What I really can appreciate about this set is the size of it. Side-by-side um, -side comparison, They're really just easier to travel with, um, take it with you. And they're, they're made of silicone, so they're quick and easy to clean. Next on the list, hand protectors. <laughs> You'll need these when you're taking up hot items in the um, Pro when it's hot or grabbing the steamer tray off of the Shibuki pot. They also, they also come in really handy when you're cooking and there's a lot of oil splatter. Um, they'll protect your hands. Uh, I like that they are small too, so they fit with our whole theme here of minis. Another option would be these mats here. This particular set comes in a set of six. Uh, very handy, multifunctional. You could use two together to lift hot things. Okay, you could also use these as placemats or table protectors. Okay, you can also use this to open lids. You could also use these to open lids. I have no muscles, so bear with me. So another thing that I have found to be quite handy are these things. They're pill boxes, but um, instead of putting pills in them, I might put small things in them like 
cloves of garlic, spices, garnishes. We actually got this idea from Sean at Eating Good in the Woods. He says that this is actually something that a lot of people who go camping would use. I did experiment with a couple of different pill containers and I found that this one is just one of the best. You can control the amount of um, in spices that you want to add because each compartment opens up separately. There have been a few containers where all of the lids open up all together and it's really hard for you to shake out the ingredients individually. So this one is actually the, the best. Okay, so next on our item of essentials is a timer. Uh, you don't really need to buy anything special here. Um, you could use your phone. Probably the most convenient way to do this since you already have it as a feature on your phone anyway. You don't need to make any additional purchases. You could also use the timer feature on your watch if you have one or an egg timer or just watch the clock. And finally, the last item on my essentials list is the lunch bag. You can use it to put all of your items in here. Of course, you can use any lunch bag that you already have. I just really like this one. It's a, it's a bag from Max Top. It comes in a lot of different designs, uh, which you can check out for yourself. The inside is insulated to keep my ingredients cold when I'm out and about transferring from fridge to fridge. This is the small size, but they also have a medium and a large size as well. And the great thing about this bag is that it fits all of my, all of my Tupperwares. So that was the small um, Rubbermaid Brilliance, the large Rubbermaid Brilliance, my spices, my cooking utensils, my little oven mitts hand protectors, a set or two of my utensils. You could fit a couple of these in there too. It closes up nicely and I'm ready to go. And it also has a front compartment here for anything else that you need, might need. Uh, and a back one here as well with a zipper. Anyway, so that's what I'm considering as essential after filming eight different episodes of Ataki Recipes this 2021. Again, if you like what you saw and think that some of these might be useful to you, feel free to check out my Amazon affiliate links below. They are absolutely the best way to help support my channel right now. If you have any other ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't checked out my playlist before, click here to check out my Itaki Pro and Shibuki playlists. Thank you again for joining me today. Until next time, friends. Mwah!